Formula 2 is one of the hottest racing events currently. The races are filled with closer racing, on-track actions and a bunch of young drivers working to prove their mettle for Formula 1. Over the years, we have seen a number of young drivers getting into Formula 1 after successful Formula 2 campaigns. Charles Leclerc, Lando Norris, Alexander Albon, George Russell, Antonio Giovinazzi have competed in Formula 2 in the past. But how much did you know about them before they entered Formula 1? So through this series, I want to introduce you to some of the brightest youngsters who are currently driving in Formula 2 and could possibly racing in Formula 1 in the near future. And in this video, we are going to feature Robert Schwarzman. Schwarzman is currently racing in the Formula 2 Championship for Prima Racing and is a Ferrari Academy driver. He is set for an F1 test during the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix weekend. Robert along with Mick Schumacher and Callum Eilert are among the top runners to make the F1 debut in 2021. Born in St. Petersburg, Russia, Schwarzman began karting in 2004 at the age of 5 and spent most of his life racing. Throughout a 7-year career of karting professionally, he claimed karting titles across Europe, predominantly in Italy. In 2014, Robert graduated to single-seaters, partaking in six races of the Italian F4 Championship with Cram Motorsport, finishing 17th overall. Robert raced in Formula Renault Series in 2016 and finished 6th in the overall standings with two victories. For 2017, Schwarzman stayed in Formula Renault 2.0 but switched to the R-Race GP team and won 6 races, having a podium finish at all rounds except at Red Bull Ring and Paul Ricard. In the 2018 off-season, he made his Toyota Racing Series debut, competing for M2 competition. He finished all 15 races in the top 5 and was the only driver in the season to do so. In September 2017, Schwarzman tested the European F3 machinery with Prima Power Team and was later included into the Ferrari Driver Academy in December. It was also confirmed that he will race for Prima in the 2018 FIA Formula 3 European Championship. He finished third in the overall standings with two victories. In 2019, Schwarzman drove for Prima in the Formula 3 Championship. He qualified on pole for the first Barcelona race and initially finished the race in second place before being promoted to race winner following a time penalty for Christian Lingard. In the following day's sprint race, he finished fourth. His performances last year earned him the label of the most lethal overtaker in the championship. He was fearless in his pursuit of the title and pulled off a number of jaw-dropping moves. With three wins and ten podiums in ten rounds, he amazed the world with his dominance of F3. He clinched the championship with three race victories, two poles, two faster slaps and ten podiums. Schwarzman joined Prima Racing for the 2020 Formula 2 Championship, partnering Mick Schumacher. He finished on the podium on his debut at the Red Bull Ring, taking third place in the feature race. He then took his first Formula 2 victory at the feature race of the second Red Bull Ring round, dedicating his victory to his late father, who died in April due to COVID-19. The next feature race at the Hangaro Ring, Schwarzman started from 11th position and gained 5 places by the first turn. He had a tyre strategy different from the front runners and had better tyre management, winning the race with 15 second gap. He also won the sprint race in Spa. Robert's Made in F2 campaign consists of 3 victories, 1 pole position, 1 faster slap and 5 podiums. Although Robert led the championship for most of the season, he hasn't been on podium since the sprint race victory at Spa and finished in points only twice in the last 6 races, scoring only 8 points. He is currently 5th in the Drivers' Championship. Schwarzman will have to wait until the season-ending Abu Dhabi Grand Prix to make his debut and there is no confirmation on which team that would be with. Both Mick Schumacher and Callum Eilert missed out on their F1 test runs due to bad weather at the Nürburgring on Friday. They may get another chance later this year. News is coming out this week that Kimi is most likely to remain at Alpha for the next season and Mick is a current favourite to replace Antonio Giovinazzi. Robert will most likely compete with Eilert for the Haas seat. Schwarzman has the pace and the talent to make the jump when the call comes in and instantly perform at the level that is required for Formula 1. So let's wait and see whether he'll get a chance for next year or does he have to wait a little longer.